All right, CAD 222 students. Um, some of you guys probably haven't had parametric modeling, so I'm going to show you how to do 16.4 uh, in AutoCAD. Um, first of all, you're going to follow the same directions that you did uh, in SolidWorks, and that's you're going to draw a disk. You're going to draw a disk here. All right. Uh, you're also going to draw the link both links. This is your link AB. Notice that in uh, this drawing I've used parametrics. So once I've drawn that, I'm going to show you the parametrics that I've put in here. Um, and draw the this line here represents the surface on which the link is going to slide to achieve your extreme right and your extreme left. All right. Once you get it set up, like you want it set up. So if I did an annotate and I check this distance here, uh, I'm not. Sh I think the book shows it from here to here. Once you get these distances sh uh, set up, and this at a 90 degrees, or I think it's 60 degrees book has it. Notice that I used a coincidence here to the center. Also use a coincidence here to the center. Coincidence here. I used a tangent. Alright. See where I've used a tangent to tangent. Tangent, tangent. These I've used parallel to parallel. And down here I've done a tangent and a parallel Or, excuse me, horizontal. All right, so once I get all of this set up and the way that the book shows it, and I'm drawing my disk, okay, I can go and do a rotate. I'm going to grab this entire link right here. And I'm going to select this as my rotate. And I'm going to make sure my ortho is not on. And as I rotate it, notice that it goes around. So this would be my extreme. Right there would be my extreme left. And right. There's my extreme right. Okay. This is how you would do it in AutoCAD using your parametrics. Uh, this can be also used for 16.5. Okay. Um, and all I need is the stroke, the difference between your extreme right and extreme left. Okay, so draw your disk, draw your two links, and draw your line representing the surface. And use your parametrics to make everything concentric and tangent. Okay, any questions? Let me know. Thanks.